If you've seen our Blockbuster video, you know darn well that we didn't have any cable. So we would record movies from Blockbuster and save them for later. But what you probably didn't know is that these copies that we would make would be pretty bare bones. Like it would just be the movie and that's it. That would be the only thing on the disc. No DVD menu, no special features, nothing like that. Just the movie. Now since my mother is Hispanic, we would go visit her side of the family in South America every three to four years, give or take. My father wasn't too fond of going. He'd always get bored there while my mom would do things with her sisters and friends, and my dad would get stuck watching us kids. So we spent a lot of time watching South American TV. They would have a lot of our shows from back home, except in Spanish. Have you ever tried to watch The Simpsons in Spanish? Bart, no quiero asustarte, pero tal vez el coco, el coco está en la casa. <laughs> Enough said. Well, I remember one day, my dad got so bored that we went around town to look for some town shops. And in one of these shops, my dad found a place that sold movies. Of course, my dad was in the zone, since he's a big movie buff. This shop had so many movies, and they were all bootlegs. You know how in the USA, the laws are so strict with piracy? Well, in South America? Rules? Where we're going, we don't need rules. You can just throw those rules and regulations right out the window. Because over there... Nobody cares! Nobody cares! Each DVD bootleg had a menu, it had all the special features, and you could change the language. It was an almost perfect copy. I say almost perfect because every now and again we would get a faulty copy of the movie where it would freeze halfway through or something like that, which rendered the disc useless. And then we couldn't return it because... Customer service? You can throw that out the window. But the bootlegs only cost like a dollar each, so you couldn't really complain. My dad would always stock up on movies. He would always bring a big old stack of DVDs in a spindle case. And then we would put them in a CD folder when we got home. Luckily, we would never get caught when going through the airport security. We legit would feel like we were trying to smuggle drugs or something the way we were acting all nervous at the TSA checkout. But we would make it home safely. So after that discovery, my dad still wasn't too fond of going to visit his in-laws. But he had found a little bit more fun going down there ever so often to pick up a bunch of movies. 